Hello everybody, it's Mrs Edwards here. It's time for Reading Skills. Today is Wednesday the 20th of January 2021. So here it is, here's our text again. It's a poem by an author called Robert Louis Stevenson and it is called My Shadow. I have a little shadow that goes in and out with me and what can be the use of him is more than I can see. He is very, very like me from the heels up to my up to the head and I see him jump before me when I jump into my bed. The funniest thing about him is the way he likes to grow, not at all like proper children which is always very slow for he sometimes shoots up taller like an Indian rubber ball and he sometimes gets so little that there's hard there's none of him at all. He hasn't got a notion of how children ought to play and can only make a fool of me in every sort of way. He stays so close beside me, he's a coward, you can see. I'd think shame to stick to Nursey as the shadow sticks to me. One morning very early, before the sun was up, I rose and found the shining dew on every buttercup. But my lazy little shadow, like an arrant sleepy head, had stayed at home behind me and was fast asleep in so let's have a little look. Today we are working on vocabulary questions. And what does we, do I mean by vocabulary questions? They are the questions that talk about the different words we use. So here is your first question. Find and copy three pairs of rhyming words. So let's have a look at the text again. So rhyming words, what do we know about rhyming words? We know that rhyming words have the same sound at the end of each word. So let's go through, have a little read, have a pause, read through, see if you can find me some rhyming words. Okay, welcome back. So. As we can see, let's have a little look. Let me get my highlighter. So as we know, rhyming pairs usually come at the end. So we've got me and C. We've got head and bed. Notice they've both got the same end sounds. We've got grow, slow, fall, all, play, way, See me up, buttercup, and head bed. So there's lots of rhyming pairs to choose from there. I hope you manage to find three of your own. Okay. So your independent questions today, because it's Wednesday, so you do a little bit more independent work, don't you? I'd like you to find and copy a comparative word. Find and copy a superlative word and find and copy the time adverbial opening phrase. And I've just given you a little note there. Remember, a comparative word ends with the ER suffix because it is comparable. A superlative word ends in the EST suffix because it is the great S it could be. Okay, my lovelies, I look forward to seeing this reading skills work later. Please, please remember to upload your reading skills work. It is just as important as your English and your maths. Okay, everyone. Bye-bye.